what do you think is the best way to investigate the false thought of individuality? As I said, point to the individual, try to see if it is there. What do you call as individual if and try to find if it is there, if it is changing. If you point to it and if you find it and if it is changing, it is not the individual because it will change into something else. But the thought of the, but the ignorance about individuality will remain. For example, the body of a child changes into body of the adult, but uh, the notion of the individuality is as solid as before. The child was also saying, I am this body and the individual is also saying, I am this body. But the body is no more. If you look at the body, it is a collection of organs and cells. The individual is not a collection. It is not seen as having components. When uh, the illusory individual says I, it is not pointing to a group of things, but the body is a group of things. And so on. You can go on investigating. For example, the emotions. The emotions, they come and go. They are faster than the matter in the body. And you cannot say that I am one of these emotions. The individual is not found in the emotions. Similarly thought, similarly memories. Memories are very tricky because they persist and most of the individuality is derived out of memory. The body also exists in the memory. This was my body, they will say. But it was small. This is my body. It is old, but it was never not so old before. This is coming from the memory. This is not coming from the direct experience. If you remove memory, you can have a direct experience of it and then you can drop the body. You can drop the identification with the body. But the memory gives it a persistence. Now the individual can be fixed on the memory that, look, I am a collection of memories. But you, if when you investigate the individual memory, you will find there is a faint copy of the events there. There is a copy of all the experiences that the so-called individual had, the so-called bodies had. It is a series of episodes that this individual went through. And which one is the individual then? There is again multiplicity there. There are so many millions of memories. Where is the individual in that? And people will always say, I have the memory, I am not the memory. So pointing works. Pointing works to destroy the idea of the individual. You can do the same if you have access to the causal body or the subtle bodies or the projected bodies. You can do the same with them. And you will find that uh, there are structures and structures and structures that are changing, activities that are happening, but there is no individual and you will find something strange also. We have this ability to detect this thing that individual is also an activity that arises in the waking state. So in the series of videos, we have dealt with four states, waking, dreaming, projected, and sleep and you will find that there is a very strange thing that the individual appears in the waking state the rest of the three states there is no individual or if there is it is created on demand like in the dreaming state a new individual is created a new body a new memory is there which has nothing to do with the waking memory except there is a resemblance there it is constructed out of the waking memory but the individual is different the personality is a little bit similar but even there is a new world there are relatives and so on upon waking that is seen as false in the case is similar in the projected states it can become a very real experience probably more real than the waking state and upon coming back to the waking state which is our kind of base we compare everything relative to the waking state which is kind of wrong but we do it because we don't have any stable frame of reference we do not have a frame of reference which we can call as true state there are no true states all these four states and other states you know there are many states they are all illusory they are all like dreams one dream ends other starts the other end the other, some something else starts so for for the time being we simply assume that the waking state is our frame of reference and when we compare other states of this memory structure we find that different kinds of individual appear and disappear there and that gives us this knowledge that in this state which is not absolute the waking state the individual is a product of the mind it is a process in the mind it is very easy to see actually even without knowing all this philosophy it is possible to see it see that there is first an event by event i mean it can be just a perception, it can be a feeling, a, an emotion, it can be 
a thought or imagination and you will see that the first that event happens and later another event happens which which brands it as mine i did it i saw it i heard it i felt it i was happy i am happy i am sad i am thinking this i am imagining this but the event has already happened the i came later the i does not appear to be causing the event the i appears to be an effect of the event this can be seen by everybody i think anybody with a ordinary intelligence will be able to observe this directly and the individual is an effect of activity of the memory structure remove the activity it's gone which is our direct experience it happens in the state of sleep deep sleep because and the acti- there is activity actually there but the activity is meaningless from the point of view of the waking state and so there is no individual as we see in the waking state there is no individual there there is something which we call as the causal body but uh, the individuality is not that sharply outlined there is fuzziness there some people will say that is universality no that is not there is no such thing as universality it cannot be witnessed it cannot be witnessed as an individual you can say in other words that all that can be witnessed is universality minus the individual both both statements are same the wave cannot see the water all that will be seen is the is water and the wave arising there that's all will be seen if that is if this direct seeing does not work then you can do the progressive elimination as shown in the one of the videos in the series since you are in the program you can write down about it and submit it for review if you don't want to do that find a teacher nearby the teacher will take you through the process of investigation of the individuality usually it is not required it takes only 1 minute to know that no there is no individual what happens is because of the survival pressures in the waking state the individual comes back that is its function actually that is why it is there that is why this effect is there which claims everything is me and mine everything and anything actually it will say the objects are mine it will say the food is mine it will say the relatives are mine people are mine the i is defined in terms of the society actually it is very interesting without society there is no probably no need of the individual it is a, a mechanism to isolate one structure out of the society responsibility ownership these define the individual not the body not the voice or anything else these things can change but responsibility and ownership they are given by the society given by the group of individuals and that is found only in the waking state and so as soon as this satsang is over you will be an individual it will be very very solid for you it does not really go away only the illusion is seen so we accept it accept the individual it is very useful for survival just do not accept that it is the truth so you will see this pattern on the path of knowledge all the time that first there is an ignorance of some kind there is darkness muddiness of some kind then we clear it and we find that no no everything that i thought was wrong and uh, then the third st- stage arrives where well where we accept it that now it is purified and i i take it back i have no problem being the individual because i fully know that there is no such individual there is whole that's all there is now the life is lived as if i am the whole but in the form of an individual only there is a shift in the point of view that's all you live the life from the point of view of the whole from the unity and you utilize this illusion to continue the play you will find that it has no purpose it has no meaning so you give it a purpose you give it a meaning and continue this completes the path actually then now there is nothing to do nothing more to do if you don't take the third step you will remain confused who am i am i the individual should i do this should i do that these thoughts will be racing in your mind and then you will find that the path of knowledge has brought you to more confusing level i was i was a good person i was a happy person before i came to know that there is no person and that is because you have not taken the final step of surrender Roman is saying if the individual is needed for survival then that must be what ego is yes individual ego identity 
person they are same they are names of the same thing i is also added into that sometimes sometimes we remove the i from it and we identify with the experiencer which is not really needed but this is what spiritual people do they will remove the i from the ego and they will put it on the experiencer the experiencer is universal does is not needed because there is no you so the i arises as a reaction to you or the other as i said it is imposed by the society on a particular structure of the body mind so if there are others there is this individual from the point of view of the experiencer there is no other so the i can be dropped completely but we use it because of our habit and because there is nothing in the language that enables communication without the use of i and you if you could form a language which has no i no you no time no space then probably we'll understand nothing we we won't be able to talk because the whole language is based on the concept of the individual in a physical world the language is actually language of ignorance it is useful only in the waking state there is no language of the universality or we can say that silence is the only language that describes the truth as soon as we speak we are back in the illusion and there we need to use some words and people have formed so many words so the general definition is anything that has a form that can be isolated from the surroundings becomes the individual there was another interesting question in the same category this applies to the spiritual people not to the ordinary people and the question says that isn't the identification with the self or the brahman shiva shunya experiencer whatever atman isn't that a bondage or the question is saying that why is there an i when the truth is known that is what we were discussing right now even though the language is limited it can be cleared it can be clarified in the beginning that there is no i but look i am going to use the word i which will stand for the wholeness because right now the whole has assumed this point of view of the individual as a concession i'll say that yes this individual is the whole and actually this statement is totally meaningless but we use it we use it as as a stepping stone in order to bring the other into our own state if that is not used the other will never know what you're talking about silence is the most accurate description but it does not communicate to those who are ignorant yes your questions are good the question is never bad even if it is uh, the most uh, basic kind of question everything is welcome here if the question is very very basic then uh, the answer is crafted so that the person understands what is what is said and sometimes it's a total lie also because that is what they are going to understand that crafted answer is used as, as a stepping stone it is not the final so the identification with the self or the brahman is actually for the practical purposes and that is my opinion you know some people may not agree with it they will say no no it is okay to it is perfectly logical to call the self as i or the brahman as i which i usually call as the existence existence can say i nothing can stop it a better word is we that is even more confusing when i say we are the whole we are the existence many people will understand it that is much better than the i but uh, those who are in ignorance they still don't get it they will say no no probably i don't know about you but i am not the whole i am still an individual the identification and the waking state is so strong there that uh, it is not possible for them to disidentify so the teacher assumes an identification that okay you are that but i am this and now please try to see that you are also that which i am and again the process is negative the person who is in ignorance will be shown that you are not that which you think you are that is what will be shown what will happen is if you read too many books and if you listen to too many teachers without doing the self inquiry without doing any kind of investigation or progressive elimination and you are not convinced of this absence of the individual then the identification with the self or the brahman will be real you will start thinking that of oh, so many great people are telling me that i am brahman it is written in so many books and i am brahman i am the existence i am the experiencer and it feels like i am that sometimes and probably i am that 
and what this has done is simply formed one more belief where instead of removing the ignorance completely from the root it has simply shifted the identification to the to a concept in the mind something similar to what happens when we shift the identification to the causal body for example teacher will tell you that you don't die you don't die don't worry this thing called the causal body is taking these forms and you are the causal body because it is kind of more stable more stationary it is also impermanent but it will last for millions of years so something similar can happen that or there is something which is more stable and more permanent and probably that is me but no the identification with the concepts is only in the mind there is no realization here and such people can be seen directly i mean it is possible to identify them it is possible to know them that uh, they do not have a realization they are simply talking about it they are talking about it as a concept so they will picture the self as something big and eternal and universal which occupies the whole universe and there are more metaphors like light and uh, i don't know whatever so they will picture it as soon as you form a picture of it it becomes a concept and uh, and the real experiencer is buried behind these concepts this will happen a lot to those who are highly educated because too much indoctrination has uh, made a concrete wall in their intellect that that very solid wall cannot be destroyed easily and this wall will be formed again especially in the societies in the cultures where materialism is very very strong uh, it the self remains a concept a philosophy of some kind because never bother to investigate deeply in their mind there is this kind of fog there is this kind of hallucination internal hallucination that what i think must be real this is uh, the state of a impure intellect i am thinking this and therefore it has to be real and the the wall of thought is very solid there cannot go behind it cannot cross it and when i say that look you are not aware you are still thinking and they will say what do you mean by aware i am completely aware what are they aware of is their thoughts not of their being being is beyond thought being is not a concept being is not an object so the indoctrination is so strong that it will not go away for majority of the people therefore we always say that it is grace not the words not the books not the teacher not any kind of practice it is the grace that will bring self self realization nothing else for such people who have blockages we call them blockages and a very big blockage is there in uh, on the layer of emotions where the feelings of very very subtle kinds are seen as i they are seen as the self and it can produce a lot of feelings there there is no end to it so for such people there are brute force methods to break these blockages and that is the path of experiences like one after the other many experiences are given which show again and again that there is no individual and the problem with this is that i think in my opinion that this has become a corrupt practice now and people are running after experiences the real motive of having an experience which uh, is not an ordinary experience not an everyday experience has been lost and people run after the experiences that let me have this exp- i am so spiritual because i had this and that experience but your current experience is enough to tell you that there is no individuality you don't need anything extraordinary unless there is an obstacle there is a blockage and then the teacher is going to prescribe a medicine which is an experience you don't need to keep on taking the medicine or you don't need a higher dose of medicine if you if the cure has happened if the disease of ignorance has cleared but that does not really happen they simply assume that having these experiences is spirituality if you know yourself as an experience then it's already failed so the individuality remains the individual is now that which is having the experiences of different kinds and the individual is that which is seeking in a new form of a seeker on the path of knowledge we simply end this drama completely no seeker no seeking no experiences needed by experiences i mean the strange experiences no practices needed that is why it is the most powerful 
spiritual path in the whole universe. That is why I take so much trouble making these videos, taking you through them, answering the questions, doing this satsang. It is possible to give you a progressive path. It is possible that I can recommend something which is progressive. That is only when it is needed, when there are obstacles that are too big. Sometimes something reverse happens that why are you telling me all these things? Why are you telling me about the illusion and no individual and this experiencer? There are no such things. There is absolute emptiness which is conscious and alive and has a light of its own. And the whole thing that you told in those 50 episodes is complete garbage. And I completely agree. You don't need all those things, you see. Actually, the first episode starts like this bit. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll waste a lot of time listening to these videos. Go forward only if you can't understand what I'm talking about. So if you think that there is an effort in walking on the path of knowledge, it is your own making. It is your own creation. It is your own obstacle. The path of knowledge does not want to take you anywhere. 